getting get ready, ready for what, what should be a good, be a good one, one tonight, tonight here, here in, in Houston. Houston. It's, it's Astros, Astros baseball, baseball on the show. On the show. Next. Next. And behind him, here's how the Astros will line it up on defense. Hal Zuniga makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this season. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Quarter paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? Foul straight back, right off the catcher's mat. Hello. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it stops foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. And that's one of the questions we'll ask as this night goes on. Can he wind up putting guys away with that fastball? I think he gave a pretty clear indication, one batter in their ball game, that he brought his good stuff with him. Tonight. Rich Anderson will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230. Here's the first offering. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Swung on and fouled straight back. And that'll even the count here. It's now two and two to the Minnesota shortstop. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slur there. Two gone. Yeah, make it back to back strikeouts here to start the inning. So too much for the top of the lineup. Set the table. Mariano Olivero will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. That hits the outside corner, it's strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. A hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. 
Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Jose Altuve will dig in now, and as you can see, he's right up there in the American League batting race, currently second entering play. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Dexter Fowler will get his first shot here. As you can see, he kind of leads the junior circuit in hitting. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And the throws offline as he tried to sweep it up that time, but came up with nothing but a glove full of dust. Josh Willingham will get his first opportunity here, currently leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And Willingham watches that one miss, a ball and a strike. And you can see it. He's upset with himself out there at short. And he should be. He's a big leaguer. He'd like to get a ground ball here and get himself off the hook. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. That's right where he's going to need to be against this line. On the corners all night long. Oh, he goes right with the fastball, and this is stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around third, Fowler heading home. And the run is in to score to make this a 1-0 ball game. And apparently, they're picking up right where they left off last night. You wondered if maybe they'd want to save some of those runs, but it turns out it might not matter as they hit the board first here again in the first inning. Richard Matsui will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guys' effort. Slider, this or that gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. And right now, he shouldn't have any second thoughts about working hard inside. Even if you hit the guy, you've got the open base to protect him. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall, a home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Astros have taken a 3 to nothing lead. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Chris Carter will stand in now, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Three runs already home here. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Down 0-2 at two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Looks like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Jason Castro will stand in for the first time now. Currently seventh in the American League in hitting. Now here's the first pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Right 
Frazier. Woody Frazier will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. Hit on the ground to shortstop. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 3 nothing. Johnny, Johnny Gomes, Gomes leads things off now in the, now in the top, top half of the second. second. Johnny Gomes. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a cold strike. It's 0-1. Well, you got to figure that this guy's going to come out here free and easy here in the second. He's got a three-run cushion already. No reason not to come right after these guys. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. Keeping it down here as it's to 1-2. and two. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. To two, to two balls and two, and two strikes, strikes now. now. Here it comes. Here it comes. And he will keep it going on the mound. He struck out the side last time through. Now the streak hits four in a row. One away. Well, pitching like this deserves another look, though, as we check out the last four batters on Showtrack. Here he was striking out the side the previous inning, and he starts things off here with another one. That's four in a row now. Chris Parmalee will stand in, perhaps just hoping to put a ball in play, something the first four men have been unable to do. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike, nothing in one. Fastball looks awfully sharp here early on. Sounds sharp, too. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man. And he missed with it, it's one and two. Such a tough pitch to lay off there. The two seamer working away with two strikes, he lets it go. Maybe just because he knew he couldn't hit it. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And this is strike three call. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. And he's feeling it out there now. I mean, that is five straight guys that he struck out now. His defenders may as well come on into the dugout and take a break because they're not even needed out there now. Clayton Gushman will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. And a little tapper up the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. That's taken, now it's 0-2. You talk about coming back with a shutdown inning. How about striking out the side to give your guys a little bit of a lift? He's one pitch away from doing just that. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. Still down, 3 nothing. Matt Dominguez will stride in now. And as you can see, he's currently sixth in the American League in home runs. Pitch of the inning is bounced up the middle, and they're going to get themselves a base runner rather quickly here as that's into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah, the first inning was no picnic, and now he's already in trouble again here in the second. He hadn't looked all that sharp so far, and he's in danger of really putting his guys behind the eight ball early. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head, a fair ball. Well, you'll see how late he is on this fastball. I mean, he nearly takes this out of the catcher's glove, but somehow he's able to steer it fair down the line and he cruises in with a double. Jose Altuve will stand in as the lineup turns over here. He was called out on strikes to open the home first. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already. So you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. Now here's his swing and a ground ball back up the box. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time you realize this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring in the left fielder, Josh Willingham. Not much of a lead at second, now here's the pitch. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. And a close play at first, but he's called out on the side. Trevor Plouffe will stand in now to lead things off. 7, 8, and 9 here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break the string of six straight retired to start the ball game. And this is bounced weakly down the line, a foul ball. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. 0 oh, 2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air to the right field. One away here to begin the third. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. One away One now, away now. And, here's and here's the catcher, catcher Josmil Pinto. Pinto. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. And he lays off for ball one. One out, nobody on. Here's VR out there at shortstop. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Pedro Florimon will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. In there for strike one, oh, and one. Now a now swing, and he just he fouls just this, this one away. away. And he struck him out. It's seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing. Richard Matsui makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Richard now a ball bounced towards the mound. And close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Chris Carter will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. Zuniga retreats out near the hill in center field to make the catch. Jason, Jason Castro, Castro will dig in. in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. And this would be a good bounce back inning for him. He's looked a little shaky here in these first few innings, so a one, two, three inning would be just what the doctor ordered. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Cal Zuniga will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Here's VR out there at shortstop. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Rich Anderson will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. 
They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. No runs, no hits, and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. I've tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. And he swings, and, he swings and, pops and pops it foul, foul behind, behind the plate. plate. And this and is going to wind up a foul, foul ball. ball. Now another 0-2. And, and here's, here's a ball, ball hit in the hit air. air. We'll take and this in without, without much trouble, trouble, and two are gone here to start, here to start the fourth. The fourth. Man. Man. And, and, and not, not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't, you can't do much, do much better, better than, that. than that. Mariano, Mariano Oliveros, Oliveros will stand, will stand in, in here, here hoping to pick up his up club's his first hit in the contest. In there, 0-1. Oh Boy, he Boy, has, he has been, been a first-strike first throwing first machine, machine, hasn't he? He's hardly, He's hardly been, been behind in the count all game long. Wayne, the mission is quickly in the hole, 0-2. And he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. That misses, says the home plate umpire, 1-2. and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Not too sure how you take that one. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. They're down 4 nothing. Woody Frazier will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First offering on the way. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And this will be fouled away. And the fastball here is hit hard right back up the middle, and he's got a leadoff single. And another hard hit ball off of him right there. That's not the first one he's allowed so far. As you take a look at his line, not too much to write home about right there. This has not been one of his better performances at all. Matt Dominguez will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. EJ, I don't know about you, but I really hated getting a bad ball on that very first pitch. Hey, jeez. It puts you just in a terrible frame of mind. On to first, and they get them both. Well, that's just made the order right there. Two hops to short, easy pivot. Not a lot of heat at second base. That's just a pretty routine double play. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle, and he's going to have a second hit tonight as it's into center field for the base hit. Jose Altuve will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. First pitch coming. Swing and a tapper out in front. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Johnny, Johnny Gomes, Gomes will make his make way his towards way the box to lead off, off the fifth. Right. And here's the first pitch. Gomes. At the knees, strike, strike one. one. The pitch count, count there, one, one pitch into his fifth, fifth inning work. work. Not, Not much, much of a concern, concern I wouldn't imagine. imagine. Yeah, yeah, it should be. He hasn't, he hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And this ball will be chopped foul. Down the line, but this will get foul. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but Sometimes, Sometimes you need to keep guys, guys honest up there. I think that's all he's trying to do. 
struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Chris Parmalee will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Called strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead in the count, nothing in one. Boy, his control has been outstanding so far. And there's another pitch right on the block. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw gets him, two down. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Clayton Gushman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient, because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Dexter Fowler will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on it. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Josh Willingham will stride in, round it out his last time through. Fouled straight back. Now here's his swing and another chance out there at shortstop. And that's through for a base hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Foul back. Throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. Chris Carter will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Lorimon, but the return throw will be too late and the run is in the score. Yeah, really no shot at two on a high chopper like that one. They do wind up getting the force at second, but that runner from third is able to just waltz in and score. Jason Castro will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And the route is on now. It's a home run. So a 
two-run shot to left center. 24 home runs for him on the season as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Out of the Minnesota dugout now is skipper Ron Gardenhire. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two-thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Brian Dunson is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Woody Frazier will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all at strike one. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out. Trevor Plouffe will stand in now to lead things off in the Minnesota six. Now the first pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here, nothing in tune. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Here comes, Here comes another 0-2. Just, Just did get a piece, get a piece of that, of that one, one, so he so stays, stays alive, alive here. here. Lifted down, down the line and right and back out of, out of play. play. Count holds it 0-2. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. And his 0-2 is bounced on the ground to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. And this is going to be a foul ball. Close, close with the slider, with the slider there, but, there, but it's, it's one and one. one. Swing and ooh, saws, saws him off with that one. one. Now a now swing and a swing softly, and softly hit, hit ground, ground ball. ball. In time, in time to first, and there are two away. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mass, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. Willingham is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the sixth consecutive inning here. We'll see we'll eight, eight, nine. nine. Matt Dominguez, Dominguez will dig, we'll in, dig here. in here. One for two, two. Singled, singled and grounded out so far. Picking on the first pitch as this is on the ground towards short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Jonathan Villar will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. 
And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Jose Altuve will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side. Cal, Cal Zuniga, Zuniga will stand in, and he, he like so many so others, many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. In there, strike one. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads since. Rounded softly to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Rich Anderson will stand in and struck out and popped out in two trips. Now a swing and another ground ball. This one out to short on the first, and it's a quick start for the seventh, and now there are two away. You know, there's a lot of pressure on the defense to make a play in a game like this. Everything's magnified at this point, so that's a really good job to stay with this ball and make the play. Mariano Oliveira is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. I like how he's approaching this year. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up and wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strike out here. The count to 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be. Here's the ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first. Oh, and this goes right past him. Johnny Gomes to get a shot here in the inning after all. That two-out error could really turn out to have some major consequences. Yeah, anytime you give this guy an at-bat, especially with a runner on base that he otherwise wouldn't have had, that's a rough And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he knows he should be out of the inning all right, but he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of it. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. No runs, no hits, and one error make up the totals for the Twins for this point. Struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Dexter Fowler will be the one to lead it off when we come back. And there is Dexter Fowler. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Right through it here, he's behind 0-1. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success at locations like that one. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Josh Willingham will get another shot now, two for three in the game. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. In there, a base hit. Richard Matsui will stand in here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Line hard to center field. Zuniga is there now, and he has it to gone. Chris Carter will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. Just keeping him close. And just and lucky just to make lucky contact, to make contact on, that on that one as it's chopped foul. foul. Now, 
Now Carter with a big swing as he lifts this one high in the air out to deep left field. Olivero retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. Chris Parmalee will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. You know, he's been gone all game long. I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been three weeks the whole way through. Baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seat. And a good pitch there as this ball sent out to straightaway central for Fowler. And he's got it for the first down. And just another outstanding pitch right there. And it's not easy to do with so much on the line here in the eighth inning. He's now down to his final five outs. Clayton Gustin comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Four outs to go. Now, if he's feeling the pressure out there, he sure isn't showing it. He looks like he's just out there throwing a bullpen session or something. Trevor Plouffe will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back in this ballgame are growing dimmer by the bat. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Maybe the pressure of the no-hitter getting to him a bit. Yeah, 2-0 and oh now. He's got to be careful it doesn't all go up in smoke right here. 3 and oh now. And he'll just lay the slur in there, and it's 3-1. And, and at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taking until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. And they are still hitless, but at least they'll have a base runner here. It's ball four. Osmil Pinto will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Throw over to the bag. Smart to keep an eye on it. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Swing and a miss looked like a slider there, a ball and a strike. <laughs> Another good pitch there. I'm not sure he's throwing a bad slider tonight. Every one of them has had a ton of movement. A 1 1 home. 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed his strike, too. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Another 1-2 delivery. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to hunt him as that ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. Jason Castro will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And a good throw gets him one gun. Woody Frazier will get another crack, one for three thus far. Lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. And a pretty feeble effort that time as this is tapped in front of the mound. On to first, and there were two down. Matt Dominguez will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. 
Ah, uh, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's off or not, as that'll be an infield single. Jonathan Villar will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Swing and miss that time, it's 0-1. A look, a look here at the hits, hits per, per side here in the late going. going. And he goes and the he goes other way with the fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Gomes will get there and he puts it away. Pedro Florimar will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at bats still count against the batting average. So you can't go up there and just mail it in. You gotta see this through right to the end of the game. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Put yourself in the shoes of that man right there. What's going through his mind right now? I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier, but but you know it's hard racing. You just gotta focus on the glove and trust what you catch is calling because he's done a heck of a job also. Now, Zuniga will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. High strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Now, a swing and a ball grounded to second. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second inning. Oh, and this crowd is really going to be up and into it now. One out to go. Man, this is awesome. Rich Anderson is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it. Even over 100 pitches. 1-1. One one. Not the first time he's felt squeezed tonight. Yeah, and he's looking and saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? And no complaint about that now. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. He's throwing a 91-mile-an-hour slider. Strike three called, and it's over. A no-hitter. Well, he's down there getting swarmed by his teammates right now, and he deserves it. Truly really one of the best pitching performances that I've ever witnessed. And he puts his name into the record books with that no-hitter. more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory.